guys! Welcome to Pastiche House, it's Lisa here. So for this week's video, I decided to try something a little different. Um, it's something I've never done before, and that is going to be incorporating my two favorite art passions together. So passion number one would be art journaling, passion number two would be glue art. Not necessarily in that order. So for those of you who follow me, you do know that generally, 9 out of 10 times when I do an art journal page, I put in a woman's face, a character of some such that I make up or whatever. So I am going to try to do the same thing, but on a canvas with glue. So this could either be a chef's kiss or a nosedive. Stick around to find out which one. So I just draw a face, whatever comes to mind free-handedly, and then I heat up my hot glue gun and I start tracing my face out with a hot glue gun. And at this point, I have no idea if this is going to be a hit or a miss, if it's going to work out. I've never done this before with glue art, so I'm just going crazy now. Once I get that glue gun in my hand, forget it. Game over. I'm just going nuts with it. So once I feel like I kind of glue gunned it to death, I'm like, okay, let's start off with her face. I have no idea what skin tone I want to give her yet. Um, so I was just kind of playing around with that. At this point, I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea what color I even want to do the background. Um, so I take all my paints and I set them in front of me. I chose my favorite colors and I go to town. For her eyes, I mixed a shade of blue with turquoise. Because I like those two shades, I decided, okay, let's start off with the blue shade. So here I just start painting within the little spaces that I've made with the glue gun. So now I take the blue shade and I'll paint that throughout the background. And I'm going to try to make it a little bit even, um, but you know, just having fun. And now I'm wondering, you know, at this point, what's my next color? So because I did the blue, I said, you know what, let's go for the turquoise. Why not? I love that shade. So that was my next color and again I'm gonna take it and paint throughout the background and try to make it a little even so let's speed this shit up because I'm sure you guys have things to do and I don't want to have to keep you here all day <laughs> yeah so I finish up with my first two colors so I'm happy about that there's my leftover paint on my lid you guys know what I do with that if you don't I'll show you a little later in the video and also with the napkins so now I just grab my coffee and I'm sitting back pondering on no I'm just kidding I'm stuck I have no idea what color story I want this painting to have so I reach for another shade of blue and then I decided against it I'm like no you know what let's be wild and crazy and creative so I grab for my African violet this is a beautiful color this is like eggplant meets mauve and out comes this beautiful african violet that was my choice and i'm like okay let's begin so i finished up with my violet and then of course i'm gonna do a second coat anyways of paint um, and then now I was debating about red. Red is my favorite color, so I'm like, is it going to go? I don't know, but hell, why not? Let's try. So now I'm debating between deep red and Christmas red, so I opt for Christmas red because it is a little brighter and, you know, to bring, I don't know, maybe a little brightness to the painting. I really don't know, so I'm just winging it, so here I go, and as I start, I'm like, hmm, hmm. I know I'll probably give her red lips, so that will help, but mm, you know what? I could go over it with another color, but I said, you know what? I love red. Let's just go for it. Let's just do it. Nike the moment and just do it. Yeah, so my last color is black to kind of anchor it all together and make the colors kind of mesh together well because I knew her eye pupils would be black, her eyelashes, her lips. I was going to trace her out in black to make her face kind of pop. So I thought, you know, I knew black was going to be my final color. So that was the only one that wasn't really too stressful because I knew black was going to be in here somewhere. And black is my all time favorite color. Well, especially when it comes to clothing. So yeah, so far I'm like, okay, okay. Yeah, so now I'm just working on her eyes and I'm putting like a very neutral eye color on it. I, it's like a goldy color. Um, I want to keep her eyes neutral just so her eyes can her eye color pops and because there's so much color going on in the background I didn't want to do like 
purple or blue or green eyeshadow. I just wanted to keep it neutral. So, and there's my nuts to the right. Yeah, I'm eating my lunch, which was a little bowl of nuts because I was just so engrossed by this painting. Like I was just having too much fun. Um, so far, just so you guys know, I'm still in the same day. This is now, I'm just heading into like the afternoon of the day I started. Just so you know, so you have a time frame. So, yeah, so... And I hope you're all doing well, you know, I know this whole COVID thing and, you know, the lockdowns and stuff has really gotten to everyone. I know for me, it was just my nephew's 18th birthday and uh, it's upsetting because I haven't seen him now. This is his second birthday I missed and normally I go and see him every year for his birthday. So, and now he's 18, a young man, but it's okay. Soon, soon I'll see him, hopefully. And then my meme, aka grandmother, um, oh here I'm gonna do the lips I love eyes I love lips but anyways yeah my grandmother my meme she's going to be 97 this weekend that is cray cray 97 years old oh my goodness um and here we do some rouge and I was like whoa okay we're not a street walker let's uh, tone her down a bit so I tried to tone her down a bit but then I kind of liked it anyways like I liked it like how I left it is how I was happy because I could have took it down and gone over it but I was like no um, and then the freckles I have a thing with freckles I have freckles um, I have like those big light freckles though but I like any any kind of freckles um, and I'll put them on a lot of my girls not every girl of course but you'll see freckles quite often so yeah oh my goodness and going back to my grandmother <laughs> She's so dramatic, eh? I'm dramatic. I'm super dramatic, but I get it from my grandmother. I think we're the only two that are like super dramatic in our family. Um, and I totally 100% get it from her. And I, I have to tell you a story. So like I said, my grandmother is gonna be 97. So many years ago, she went into an uh, old age home, right? So she gives me a call, she's all, distraught totally upset and it's like oh my god what is going on Lisa it's terrible here I can't be here today and I'm like what's going on and she's like emotional and it's like what's going on I'm like are they hurting you it's worse I'm like there are they abusing you she's like it's worse and I'm like what do you mean it's worse what's worse than abuse you're alive and she's like uh, and I'm like what's going on tell me she's like okay She's like, so this morning we went for a breakfast and I'm like, okay. And she's like, and I said on the menu, we're having beef dinner for dinner. And I'm like, okay. And she's like, it's supposed to be a beef stew. I'm like, okay. She's like, well, we went for dinner tonight and there was no beef in that stew. I'm like, come again. I'm like, pardon? She's like, there was no beef in the stew, Lisa. And she's bawling. Drama? So now I'm just playing around with some of the details on her face and, you know, just trying to bring her alive a little more, I guess, and just making sure the colors are right and playing around with the skin tone and the highlighting. So I mix some black paint with some silver paint to make a pewter color. Uh, whenever I'm doing glue art, I usually like to paint the glue part silver or pewter. In this piece, I chose the pewter. So yeah, so I sped this up because this actually takes a very long time to do. That being said though, I'm still in the same day. It's still, uh, it's like late Monday afternoon now. So yeah, having good time and then, fuck, uh, yep that happens but it's okay it's an easy fix so I fix her up and keep going so now I'm just touching up her eye makeup I added a little more like of a sandy brown um, and yeah just you know touching up her features her lips um, her skin tone as well I'm gonna add some highlights to her skin try to make her come alive a little bit and I'll work a little bit on her cupid's bow to make that pop a little bit too
Okay, so now I'm giving her highlight, I guess you call it, lighting, you know, off her eyes and her lips. I always think that makes, like, the subject come alive. Um, however, here I went a little too heavy on the lips. I'm like, whoa, okay, she looks like she just ate a freaking ice cream sandwich. Like, nobody has that kind of glistening coming off their lips, man. So I fixed that up, and uh, I added a little more red to tone it down, fix the eyes a bit, and there we have it. So now I'm doing Lisa's version of cleaning up the excess paint. So yeah, I'm just dabbing any excess all into my journal page and I'm just going to mix that all up and I'll figure out what I'll do with that later and then I'll rip out some pages and with the excess skin tone paint I'm just doing some dab art and I'll draw some faces on that later as well. Um, see nothing goes to waste. Yeah, then in my pellets here or aka lids. I uh, have paint there, so I'll add Elmer's glue to it um, because that actually will give it a beautiful shine and it's easier to peel out. Even though I use acrylic paint, which is basically plastic, it just it's easier to peel out once I put the glue on it and I like the shine it gives it. So I'll just set that aside and then I'll peel the paint off the lids once it's dried and uh, I'll use that in future art projects. So then here too, I have the napkin. So instead of just, you know, putting the brush into the water and wasting all that paint, I like to dab it randomly on napkins. And this makes a beautiful backing um, on my art journals. So yeah, I don't waste anything. And I like everything blingy. So of course I add some bling to her eyes and her lips and I'm gonna gloss her up using a gloss medium. And then I think I'm gonna have a sip of coffee and this happens. <laughs> <laughs> I could spill my coffee on her but it's like okay it's okay so let me see if I can wipe it off of course I go to wipe it off and the paint comes off as well but it's all fixable I have a lot of black paint so I just kind of touch her up there and it's like it never happened <laughs> So I moved my coffee away from me so I don't have that same accident and um, I just finished glossing her up. So I wait for her to dry and I did a second coat of gloss. So I hope you really like her. I love all the texture. Oh, I love that glue. I love texture. If you like her, leave a comment in the comment box. If you don't like her, just kidding. Thank you. Aww. Thank you so, so much for watching, you guys. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate you. Um, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that little notification bell so you know every time I upload. Have a fantastic weekend and week. And I'll see you next Friday. Mwah. Bye for now.